very first image I had of this um, story was of a young girl uh, who was in this close, confined space. And I hadn't decided yet whether she was injured or not, but I knew she was just terrified past the point of speaking. I knew something was after her. I did not know what it was. But I understood like she did that if she stayed there much longer, she probably would be found by whatever this thing was that was after her. But if she dared to leave and make a run for it, she probably wouldn't make it. So she was trapped in this impossible uh, dilemma, this decision that either way it went, it probably wouldn't go well. All my books start not with a concept so much, not like, oh, I'm going to write an alien invasion story, but an image of a character or characters um, uh, in a situation. Something's happening or something's just about to happen. And then I just, I work with that image. That image is like the rough clay that I start to pound and mold and pull and twist and, and just, you know, kind of write around it and explore it and, and, and find that character's voice and see where it goes. Um, Sometimes those initial images make it into a book and sometimes they don't. In this case, it did. Um, it became Cassie trapped underneath uh, the car on the abandoned highway and there is a sniper lurking in the woods just waiting for her to, you know, try to crawl out again. I'm not sure, but it, it may have come from something that happened uh, to me when I was a kid. I, uh, we were playing darts in the carport, and uh, one of the darts hit the concrete wall and then bounced off of it and skittered underneath uh, my dad's car, which is parked there. And of course, I was the youngest, so I had to go underneath the car to try to get it. And um, crawling in was fine, but crawling, uh, tr getting back out kind of gave me a, a panic attack because, uh, well, there's a lot, it was the first time I was ever underneath the car, and it's pretty claustrophobic under there. Um, so as I was easing my way back out, the, the, the license plate uh, holder caught my uh, back and just scraped along and opened up my back as I came out. I, it still hurts, but um, I don't know if that, you know, evolved into something like that, but certainly those feelings of, you know, being trapped and um, uh, understanding there's a 2,000 pound vehicle above you sort of thing um, uh, helped me at least identify with Cassie a little bit feel those feelings.